hello everyone in today's video i will guide you through the steps of crafting a stunning presentation using powerpoint feel free to borrow inspiration from this tutorial and customize it to suit your unique style without any delay let's get started open new file in powerpoint and change the layout to black then go to view and check the boxes next to grid lines and guides to make your work more organized now let's get the title for our presentation for time saving i will just copy and paste it to my slide then relocate it to the middle of the slide now let's create the second slide by duplicating the first one right click on the first slide and click duplicate slide and then move the title to the top of the slide now let's draw the line for our timeline click on insert tab then click on shapes and choose a line then draw a line now from the shape outline change the color and thickness of the line now create the bubbles for easier from shapes choose the circle shape change the fill color to black and the outline to no outline now resize the circle and make it small as much as possible let me zoom the slide a little bit to make it easier to resize it then move the circle to the end of the line after that right click on the circle and click on format shapes on the right hand click on size and properties icon then the text box section and change all margins to zero this will help to write the maximum size text inside the circle let me zoom it more and then change the font size to 1 and write 2002 inside the first circle. As you see, it is very small. And let me change the color to black as well to make it invisible. Now our first bubble is ready. Let's duplicate it using Ctrl D on the keyboard or you can copy and paste. Then relocate it to the right place as you see on my screen. Then double click on it and delete the text which is 2002 and write 2004 inside it. Then create the third bubble and the rest the same way I did. Now let's duplicate the second slide and create the third one. and then select all the bubbles and the line together and move them to the left hand the same way i am doing it and then repeat these steps until you create all slides and each time you have to move the line and the bubbles together one step to the left hand after you have created all the slides go back to the second slide and resize the first bubble now let's change the size and color of the font to make it visible i will choose this font and white color and this size now let's go to the next slide and resize the second bubble and you have to apply the same format you can get the format from the previous slide click the bubble Control shift c and then go to the other bubble select it Control shift v repeat this step to the all slides until you resize all the bubbles accordingly now i will go back to the second slide and i will copy and paste all the social media icons to my slide and then adjust the position of them move the last one to the end of the bubble and you can select them by Control and click then go to the arrange icon then align and then align to top to make them straight and then go back to align again and distribute horizontally this way you can distribute them equally and then copy all the icons to the rest of the slides paste them using ctrl v on your keyboard and move them to the left repeat this step for all the slides Now, as usual, go back to the second slide and resize the first icon. Move it up and then resize. Adjust the location and repeat this step to the all slides.
After you done all, now let's add a shadow to the icons to look more fancy. Select it and then go to shape effects and choose a shadow. Copy this effect by using Ctrl Shift C and apply it to other icons by selecting them and press Ctrl Shift V. Repeat it to the all slides and you are good to go. Now all slides are ready, let us select them all and then go to transition tab, click more and then change duration to 0.75. Let's just have a look and see how it looks like. This is how it looks like after you applied all the settings. Now let's add social media names underneath each icon and let them pop up from the bottom of the slide. For this I have prepared all the social media names and I will copy and paste it to the first slide. Move them all to the very bottom of the slide. Eventually you have to move it outside of the first slide. Now copy them to the all slides. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Then come back to the second slide and move the related name underneath each year. Do the same for the other slides. Now let's test the final result and see how it look like. I hope this video was useful for everybody. See you in my next video.